February is American Heart Month and also women's heart health is especially important since it is the number one cause of death for women all across the country. Our own Amy Johnson got some expert analysis from Dr. Natalie Bello. She's the director of hypertension research at Cedar sinai Smith Heart Institute. So we know that heart disease is actually the number one cause of death for women in this country. Even though interestingly, most women think that cancer is what's going to get them. Um, and we're really concerned because actually awareness of heart disease risk is on the decline and deaths due to heart disease are actually trending up after we had made significant progress in reducing mortality from heart disease. Now, has the pandemic coronavirus made an impact? So, you know, we're definitely seeing a lot of people, obviously, um, we're sheltering in place skipped a lot of preventive uh, visits to doctors and nurses during the pandemic. And now people are coming back. They may have run out of their medications, their blood pressure's out of control, cholesterol's out of control, sort of routine screenings got skipped during the pandemic. So definitely impacted heart health in a bad way, unfortunately. And how would you say women's heart health compares to men's? Great question. So men and women obviously are, are pretty different in general, and there are some really important differences in risk factors for women. So along with some of my colleagues here at the Smith Heart Institute, including Dr. Susan Chang and Dr. Noel Barry Murrs, we recently put together a special edition of a journal called Circulation Research and actually looked at 14 different topics and how women are different than men when it relates to cardiovascular health. So we've realized that um, the number one risk factor for heart disease is blood pressure. And for any given level of high blood pressure, women actually have a higher risk for heart disease and death from high blood pressure than men do at that same level of blood pressure. Hmm. We also have learned that diabetes can impact women's hearts more strongly and in a bad way than men's hearts. Well, is there anything that people can do to reduce the risk Absolutely. So we know that 80% of heart disease is actually preventable. And common risk factors that people can um, be aware of and work to reduce to reduce their risk of heart disease include high blood pressure. And we'd ideally like to have a blood pressure less than 120 over 80. Uh, we know sugar, glucose, and diabetes is also a risk factor for heart disease. So if you have diabetes or pre-diabetes, keeping that under control is helpful. Cholesterol is a risk factor. So sometimes diet and exercise are enough to control it. Other times people need medicines. Um, and really, it's a little bit of common sense and trying to eat healthy, exercise, uh, limit the amounts of processed foods you drink, limit uh, sugary beverages, try to choose water and whole grains, uh, and lots of fruits and vegetables.